Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm surrounded by mountains. I'm at the end of a nice little branch line in Switzerland. Meter gauge branch line from Maringham. We're at a place called Interfreshen, I think it's called. Anyway, here's our little train. This is going to take us down the branch. And what we're going to do, we're going to get off at a rather unusual station. I hadn't really planned on making a video today. I'm just, um, I've got a pass, a Swiss railway pass, so I'm just out track bashing, and um, I thought I'd do this line just because it's here, and there's a funicular I'm going to do later, but uh, I've discovered there's a very unusual station. So let's get on the train, let's have a look at this, a cute little train, look. It um, goes in about two minutes, I thought ought to get on. It's a cute little EMU. It's 125013, its number is, so it's not quite like an intercity 125. And besides, look, there's like a luggage van, stroke, loco kind of train. This line, what they did, they built it when they built a hydroelectric power station. And then when the hydroelectric power station was finished, we'll go past the hydroelectric power station quite soon. When the hydroelectric power station was finished, rather than just abandon the line, you know, you get so many lines that were built for building something and they get abandoned, they put passenger service on, which I think is a great idea. And if you look on the tables, there's a nice little map of the line. So we're down here at Interkesh and there's like another one there which is sort of the town or pre-village centre. We're going to get off at of that one. Now if you have a look, it looks like it might be, well it is, it's inside a tunnel. I saw that station on the way up and I thought we've got to get out there. So I'm going to enjoy the ride down. It's quite a short line, it's probably only what, three miles, maybe not even that. We're going to go and we're going to get off at the station. You know, we're fairly used to underground stations but on a branch line like this, an underground station is where we're going to go and get off. So we're on the train. It's a request stop, this one that's in a tunnel. I've just pressed the button to request it. See the river that we're flowing beside. You'll see it better when we get out of the train. I understand the river goes through a narrow gorge, but the point of this station is so we can get out and see the river in the gorge. So any moment now, we should go into the tunnel. So here we are, yeah, we're in the tunnel now. So this is going to be a bit of an underground station with a difference. It's not your typical metro station that so many of us use all the time. And I don't think it's going to be any sort of bored looking commuters that don't want to be here. So this is the station. Look at this, amazing. Um, the doors are opening. And look, we're, well, it's cold. There's our little train in the station underground. So our train's gonna go. It's fantastic. But it's called Zentralabart. He's just hooted to say that he's going through the tunnel. There's some people waving. Hello. Some people are waving at me. So um, I should have told them to watch Henry's Adventures and they'll see themselves waving in a few months' time. So, oh, oh, it's all gone dark. Maybe I'm not supposed to be in here anymore. This is really weird. So, oh, and I've put the lights on. I think perhaps I have to leave before the train leaves. It's the name of the station. Oh, what an exit from the station. Yeah, they made an announcement saying step away from that. So we, unfortunately we can't watch the train go, but we can, uh, the train is going. What an entrance to a station. I think I'm in a kind of bowl carved out by water millions of years ago. This is really amazing. I'm the only one here. And um, yeah, there's this sort of, um, there's this arch, which... <laughs> Please move on quickly. Yes, yeah, so I, I get the impression we're not really supposed to be here anymore. I've got off the train. Oh, look, look at this. So, there's a suspension bridge there. What an entrance to a station. You come over this suspension bridge and then you just walk into the rock. And in there is a railway station. It's, that's amazing. I think that's um, brilliant. It's completely unique. Anyway, I'm going to go over the suspension bridge and let's go and explore the gorge. So we're about to walk over the suspension bridge. You can't, I did just try it, you can't get back onto the station unless the train's coming. So it's a bit unfortunate you can't watch the train go, but I shouldn't knock it because this really is a fantastically, amazingly different railway station. So if you want to wait for the train, this, this is basically the waiting room. You wait here um, and then I think you press buttons on that machine to open the doors, but only once the train arrives. So probably soon there'll be a queue of people waiting to get on the train. and. Um, there's basically no other facilities. There's some dustbins over there on the other side 
of the river. But anyway, let's go across the river from possibly the strangest station in Switzerland. It's underground, it's not the only underground station in Switzerland. Of course, Switzerland's got metros, and probably the most famous underground stations are on the Jungfrau. But um, I'm not doing that on this trip because I don't fancy remortgaging the house just to do a bit of um, underground railway. So um, I'm not, I, I, did, I did do the um, Eine Gleischer section of the Jungfrau um, a couple of days ago, but I'm, I'm not going up the Jungfrau on this trip because I think there's plenty of other very exciting railways you can do. I, I probably will do it one day, but not on this trip. Anyway, we're now crossing the river. And look at that, that over there, that is the path we're heading for. So it's right on the edge of the gorge. And that's gonna take us down through the gorge. So the railway is in the tunnel on the other side of the gorge. It's really quite an amazing place. I mean, Switzerland is just amazing. It's breathtaking. And then looking that way, that's up the valley. I went on a bus over that pass yesterday because I went to the, to the Furka railway. So I caught the train to Myringen, took the bus up this valley over that pass for a bus route. That is an amazing bus route. They have talked about extending this railway and taking it over the pass to join up with um, the route the Glacier Express. I don't know if that will ever happen, but maybe one day. Anyway, we've got to find our way to that path over there. So here we, we've now left, there's even a little um, station named there. So it's probably the, the strangest railway station I've ever been to. And we're now off the bridge and uh, we're coming down here. We've got to go over another little bridge and we're gonna go up all those steps to enter the gorge. So it's uh, really quite pleasant. There's the valley, people having a picnic there. Still can't go over that. It's the entrance to a railway station. Anyway, going off up there to find this gorge. I've just come up all those steps from the station. This is quite funny, look. There's a sign there for the station. It says it's a five minute walk. It, it's all down there, down through the trees and quite literally into the rock. You can see the railway line and the river down there. This is uh, the other side of the mountain pass. When I was on the bus yesterday, going along here, it felt all dramatic and you see that view. But if you go over the pass, it is just amazing. If you just, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Anyway, here we are on the hairpin bend. Look at it. There's just hairpin bends like this. And as you can see, we're actually on a, we're cantilevering out over the side because there's like not that much space to put the road in. And every now and then you get these sort of flat areas in Switzerland. Anyway, I'm going into here now to do this gorge walk. Oh, here we are. There's a cafe there hanging over the gorge. I've just paid to go in. It costs 10 euros. So um, I know they say Switzerland's an expensive country, but that's probably about nine pound, which considering this is probably going to take me for the next hour or so, it's not too bad. This, um, I understand people have been walking through here since about 18... 88 and the railway station that we've just been to that was only opened in 2003 so it's, it's quite a new station but now look the path is getting a bit ridiculously dramatic and we, we are now going down into the gorge and we're hanging right oh, look at that there, there's the bridge to the station which we just went into it's uh so this is what i first could see now it looks like the path ahead zigzags down i can see it there it goes zigzag, zigzag down and then later on, we should be right down by the river itself. And to think it's a railway line. Now, I think there used to be a tramway through here once upon a time. Now, from my Swiss railway atlas, I can see at the other end there certainly is a disused railway line. We'll have a look at that when we get there. But yeah, what an amazing view this is. I think I'm going to have a very exciting next hour or so. Well, now just coming to the first of section of zigzags this is where I go back on myself I'm very close to the side of the rock now look at this it's, it's just the main thing you know you wouldn't naturally be able to walk through here so easily you might have been able to have canoed down it but you know to just walk down through there great experience so we're going to continue down here so you can see the Z now so we've just come down here I'm going to go down there and we're going to end up on the path right down there so this next section Kind of takes us um, almost inside a bit. We're kind of going into the into the trees slightly. It's like um, what they call you may have heard. I've never actually been on one, but it's called a Balm Witzelplatz, which basically means top of tree walkway. And this is a little bit like a Balm Witzelplatz because we are at the moment we're kind of in the trees, but we're 
also in the rocks. I don't think it quite classes as being a barn bitzel flats, but anyway, it's uh, it's very good fun. I mean, we've now arrived at the next uh, part of the Z. We're gonna as soon as these people have come past, we're gonna continue on down through the trees. So if you look, so you can see now where we've been, where we're going. We're going right down towards the water, I think. So it's going to be a very, very exciting walkway. Here we go. Now we're going, continuing on down. Someone's old Christmas tree there. <laughs> and uh, still in the trees. I can see the path ahead. It looks like it's going right down to the water. So this is just amazing and fantastic. The other thing I find so exciting for me is I haven't planned to do this today. I was just track bashing. I just went up that branch line because I thought it would be an interesting bit of railway to do. And then you go track bashing and you end up somewhere like this. That's the thing um, about, you know, being interested in railways. You tend to do unusual railways and you don't always know what's going to be at the other end. You come to places like this. I'm going to continue on down there and perhaps we'll get a bit closer to the water. Well, we're down now closer to the water. We're still on a bit of a ledge above the edge of the water. You can see the, the rock is fairly smooth here. This must be where the water has carved it out millions of years ago. Just amazing. And I keep saying it's amazing, but I'm kind of, you know, a bit blown away at just how amazing it is. Now look, we're going slightly in a bit. Very, only very slightly in. Just past some trees. Look, got some nice little wildflowers growing there and there's the gorge and it, as we know it opens out back there and we're just um just just slightly in that but we're, look, we're, we're dramatically going out onto the edge once again and you can sort of see how the water must have carved its way down here over millions and millions of years it really is an amazing place Slightly further up, I've noticed something. There's a cave there now. I don't know if the camera's been out, but I can see bricks. I reckon just behind those bricks is the railway tunnel. Look at the path now, it's kind of to support, support it, it's cantilevered from above because uh, there's like another bit of water down there. So, all, all the water you see, I think most of it, even in the height of summer as it is now, is, is glacier melt water. So, thank you. So, you get a lot of. Um, the glacier meltwater. Well, some of the rivers you see are almost white in colour. But, and yeah, the camera's not picking it out, but I can just still see pockets of snow. There still is plenty of snow, as I was saying, like if you were to go up the Jungfrau. Like I said, I think this is a better underground railway station experience. And you don't get to do this on the Jungfrau, but if you were to go up there, you'd definitely see snow. You can, I've not been walking in snow. I went up the Brenz Rothen barn the other day, and there was just like a couple of pockets of snow left. Well, this is going on and on and on. I can see quite a long way down the gorge. See there, there's people walking along there. So I'm going to continue walking, see what else we can find. Well, we're coming to a more rougher part of the river and I can't quite see where the path goes, but it appears to disappear into a bit of an inlet. It looks very busy up over there and up above there's there's some wires which you probably can't see. I'm wondering if um, I can see a platform where people do bungee jumping off it. Oh, that's exciting get to this little inlet and um, that's probably where another river was and you can again see how the water has carved all of this out over millions of years. I mean I'm no geologist but I sort of remember learning about things like this at school we were given Cheddar Gorge as an example and uh, this is basically Cheddar Gorge on steroids and we're going to go along there next and uh, in a minute we'll be on that, that corner there and we're just going to have sort of water and gorge but anyway here is this cave-like area it's not really a cave but it's just amazing and then so that's the path we've just been on going round to this dramatic corner we've got the water raging below us very exciting place I'm really pleased I stumbled across this place today we've been all the way around there and we're going, look, it gets narrower. It gets narrower and narrower. And we're going round there. We 
we're just around the corner now and it's getting more and more dramatic and narrower look, look how the river squeezes into a really narrow part of the path so there's not a lot of room and um it's uh do you know what to me the scariest thing is it's not this it's not me falling in it's dropping my camera in especially when you've got loads of people coming towards you and um yeah so that amazing i'm just gonna stand in here and let these people go past because I really don't want to lose my camera into the water. So once this lot has gone by, we'll continue forward. And I'm really now intrigued to see what's going to be around this corner. It looks like it's going to get really, really dramatic. The water is funneling in to a really, really narrow point. Look at that. Water down there. And the path is getting really quite narrow. We're, we're, we're directly over the water now. Um, I don't know if you can see, the water's directly below us, so we are effectively on a bridge. Oh, I see. And then it, it kind of opens out once we get through here. So what I'm going to do, if you can see how it opens out, I'm going to wait for the people to come past, I'm going to continue walking, but wow, look at this. We've now reached the end of that very narrow section and it opens out into well, what I can see is a waterfall ahead, but it looks like the path is about to go into the rock, so that's going to be quite exciting. We've been on this ledge all this time, just going to let some people pass. We've been on this ledge all this time. As you can see at the moment, we are still effectively on a bridge, got railings on each side. We're going to go um, through this gateway here. So sometimes it looks like they close it and they send you back to the entrance. I'm glad they have it today. And I don't think this is one gate you'd climb around. Anyway, look, we're going into this cave here. It's going to be really, really exciting. It might be quite cool because although it's a hot summer day, it's due to rain later, um, which I'm actually quite pleased about. Let's just have our last look at this part of the gorge. There it is down there. And that's where we've come from. It's going to get a bit different now. We're going into, the, into a cave. Typical cave, really, quite damp, and you can't really see the long tunnel of light. So, I'm going to walk down here and we'll see what we find when we get to the other end. A confusing moment when you're in a tunnel and you come to a junction and you wonder which way to go. Now, me being me, I probably want to explore both. That way, the tunnel continues. Is this a balcony? It's strange how most of the time I've been doing this, it's usually people everywhere. In a tunnel, I've hardly seen any other people, there's just one or two coming in now. But here we come to the end of the tunnel, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and um, we're further down the gorge. And it continues, I know the, the camera's messing about the exposure from being very, very dark, there we are, that's better. We're just going down here now. We're coming towards that waterfall, that waterfall which we could see earlier. Oh yeah, look, if you look back, you can see is how narrow the gorge was. You can see the path. We've gone into the tunnel, but there's still another path in the tunnel, and then somewhere behind there is a railway which we were in earlier. So it's all very, very exciting. We've come to here. Oh, I see. This must be the other end of the tunnel now, because I'm someone who likes to sort of do everything I can. I'm just going to check. This does go to wherever, uh, to that junction. Yeah, I think if we go up here. I'm going to come back to that junction where I was a moment ago. Which, um, yeah, here we are. This is this is it. So I'm just going to do that again. Enjoy that again because that was so exciting. So that will take me back where I came. That goes back out to the gorge. So not so long ago, we were in the narrowest part of the gorge. We're now in the widest part of the gorge, as you can see. The river's right over there and you've got all this shale and a few plants growing probably does flood over you know especially in the spring when the snow starts mounting look at that waterfall that's amazing i've been seeing so many of these waterfalls from trains but they've always been in the distance so it's really exciting to get close now quite often waterfalls kind of run down the rock but this one it's um it's coming right out that it's landing in the middle of the river so you probably if you're on if there was a waterway on the other side you might be able to walk under it without getting wet, I'm not so sure. We'll probably see, just up here, Denka, we'll probably see just up... Yeah, look, it's, it's landing in the middle of the water. That 
That's amazing. That's fantastic. I really like that. And it looks like, well, as everyone's standing here looking at the portal, we're going back into the rock. So let's just go round here and get a side on view of this water. This is what everyone here is looking at before going underground. Look at that. That is amazing. I could just stand and watch. No, I just love the way it's really coming out. It's really coming down with force into the river. Fantastic experience this is. But from this very, very light place, I'm going into the dark tunnel. So here, they've not really any room to put the walkway, so they've had to blast it through the rocks, which, you know, adds to the excitement. Yeah, it makes a bit of a change. We've been on the edge, so now let's go inside and continue to enjoy this experience. So whilst we've effectively been forced underground in some places, it looks like now even the river is going underground. Maybe eventually, in years to come, this will all disappear. There's also a random bit of concrete, no doubt that's been put here to help support the rock. But it just gets more and more exciting. So we get to this balcony here, you can see the river is, is disappearing into the rock. We, there is a, it looks like it's still a very narrow section, so back there I thought I was a narrow part of the water. Obviously it was a lot narrower, and if you look up, it might give you an idea just how narrow this gorge is but I'm enjoying every moment of it as you can probably see by now the next going in there so at this stage I would say we're just about still in the gorge but it really is narrow if you look up there a bit of light but now the path ahead gets incredibly narrow it really no, there's lights but there is just a bit of water and us and if you were to go you know put it this way I wouldn't suggest you go fully down there it's so strange like we are we're not in a tunnel we are technically still outside but we're very top down in this really narrow gorge I'm going to continue on down I was exiting another one of the tunnels I've, I've lost count of how many tunnels I've now I've been through in a bit of a wider area there's the river down there looking ahead before we go into the next tunnel there's an odd sort of mist you can just see that a bit of mist there hanging above the river we'll find that soon let's go through this tunnel it's a bit like um, you know when you go on a train in Switzerland like they go through lots of tunnels it's a bit like doing that although um, with the constant change of gradient so that would be quite so possible oh look at this this is weird in a good way there's a river and there's this mist. I know now the camera's playing with exposure. There's a scary sort of looking ladder there going up. Let's see if you can see that's better. There's, there's just a mist floating off above the river. I can see the path continues. The gorge opens out. It's going to get wider again, so let's continue on and see what we can find. You should now be able to see the mist I was saying about a bit better. Just sort of this haze. It's very damp. There's water dripping all over me from above. You can see the path, like I said, lost count of tunnels. I've noticed a couple of other interesting things here. We're about to go into yet another tunnel. But before we go into the tunnel, you can see, I think for the first time, we might actually get to touch the other side of the wall. There's like a bridge there. It looks like that swings round. 
should anyone, you know, not me or any of the tourists here today, but should anyone want to go on to the other side? It is unlikely possible. So we're continuing from this short tunnel and we're in yeah. another strange ledge above the misty water below. And um, there's that swing bridge. But I can't actually see where you'd go if you were to go through it. Oh, I see, we've got a choice of two paths again. There's one through the rocks, but let's go to this one. Oh, that's, that was used in the construction of the pathways, as you can see by this picture here. And we continue rounds as well. There. So we were back there, man. You go, look, it looks so sort of strange and it's amazing looking back at it. So I think, yeah, that, that was obviously, maybe it's not a swing bridge, but it's under the construction of the pathways. And at this point here, we can now see we're on the other side of the gorge. In fact, I can actually just about touch both sides of the gorge. It's that narrow. And what happens here? We get to this section. Let's just get through these people. And we get through here. Thank you, thank you. We get to here, look. The path, it's getting mad. It's backward, forward, backward, forward. At the beginning it was zigzag down. Now it's got sort of zigzag across. And there's people just emerging from here out the rock. So the tunnel must run along there. Let's go around here, just around this bit here and, and uh, see what we can do. So it's, it's really narrow. Like I say, my biggest fear of this is dropping my camera. Not, nothing else. Um, so we've just got to get around this next section here. Look, so you can see now the water is right down there. There's the bridge, we're about to go around here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's where we've just been. We've just been around there. Thank you. So we were over there a second ago. Oh, and then we get to here and uh, you can just see, you can just see around there. It's very narrow. Um, so sometimes it's quite hard to get past other people. And continue on down there and see what else we can see. I think I've almost reached the end of the gorge. It's just a bit negotiating down around here. As well as a bit of a uh, queue. Let's get around here. And uh, we're now coming to the end of the gorge. You can sort of see the light. It's going to suddenly open out, having walked all the way through here. This may well be the final tunnel we go into. Entering the tunnel, nice bit of cool. And I think quite soon we'll be back out outside. So it's quite... Never mind the tunnel. I, I did just catch a glimpse of the railway line out there, so uh, that could be useful because I probably will need a train to get me back. You can see there's a line ahead. I, I did catch a glimpse of this tunnel when I was on the train when we went into the main tunnel, and I wasn't too sure what it was, um, but now I know. Here we are. This is the end world, and it's bright, and we're out. We're back out there. It feels a lot warmer suddenly and humid now we're out there so the last walkway was round there somewhere the railway line is just there so any second now we should see the railway tunnel and then that'll be pretty much it for this I'm, i might continue walking back towards maringen on this side of the river because it'd be quite a pleasant walk uh yeah there you go just over there there's the railway tunnel not sure when the next train there's only one train that goes up and down the one i was on earlier and uh, we've, we've come out into another wide open valley. It says there is a restaurant and tea room. So I, I obviously pay to go in at that end. You probably can do the same thing at this end. In true tourist attraction fashion, I'm walking out through the gift shop. One thing I'll say, if you're thinking of doing this, go to the end either, because look, there's a massive, massive queue to get in at this end. So if you are thinking of doing it, I suggest you do it my way. Of, and then of course you get the interesting train ride, but it really is worth doing. Like I say, it's not that much, pretty white. It's so busy actually, because you know, going up the Jungfrau is so expensive, and yet this is quite cheap. It's not really quite the same, because there's no snow or anything, or not at this time 
the year. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from just outside the entrance to the gorge. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah